welcome you all to the new session of computer graphics today we will be learning two new concepts random scan displays and raster scan displays now what are these raster and random scan displays depending on how the electron beams move through the screen displays can be of two types they are random scan displays and raster scan displays let us first learn about raster scan display let this be our computer screen which is divided into number of rows and columns suppose i wish to draw a triangle on the screen to draw a triangle on the screen i must write a graphics program this is a program which is capable of drawing pictures on the screen and hence the name graphics program now this graphics program is capable of drawing a triangle clear now we know that whatever information is stored in computer will be in binary information that is bits 0 or 1 clear now we are having a hardware called display processor display processor reads the graphics program and stores it in memory clear display processor reads the graphics program and stores it in memory before storing it in memory display processor converts the graphics program into binary information this conversion process is called scan conversion so i repeat display processor is a hardware which reads the graphics program and converts the graphics program into binary information that means digitizes graphics program into binary information this binary information is called picture definition because this information stores information stores details regarding picture clear i can also say these are pixel intensity values so three different ways of saying the same thing the information stored in this memory area can either be specified as picture definition since it describes a picture or i can say these are binary values since they are zeros and ones or i can say these are pixel intensity values since they store the details regarding each pixels on the screen now what is this memory called this temporary memory or the buffer is called a frame buffer so once again look into all these concepts we have a screen to draw a triangle on the screen i have written a graphics program and we have a display processor which is a hardware that reads the graphics program and converts this graphics program uh, into binary values and stores it in a temporary memory called frame buffer the process of conversion from a graphics program into digital information or binary information is called scan conversion clear now hope all these concepts are clear to you now let's check how using frame buffer a picture can be drawn on the screen see this is again our computer screen now i am going to explain how the electron beam moves through the computer screen how the electron beam moves through the computer screen okay first we have to know about the term called scan line every row on the computer screen every row in the computer screen is called a scan line every row in the computer screen is known as a scan line so the electron beam will first move through the first scan line and from the end of first scan line the electron beam moves to the beginning of second scan line 
and after scanning the second scan line from the end of second scan line the electron beam moves to the beginning of third scan line so i can say electron beam scans through a particular row and from the end of a particular scan line it moves to the beginning of next scan line this movement from the end of a scan line to the beginning of next scan line is known as horizontal ray tracing what is it the movement of the electron beam from the end of one scan line to the beginning of next scan line is called horizontal ray tracing and suppose the electron beam moves through all the rows and reaches the last row or last scan line now once the electron beam has reached the last scan line the electron beam moves from the end of last scan line to the beginning of first scan line this movement of the electron beam from the end of last scan line to the beginning of first scan line is called the vertical ray tracing now in every vertical ray tracing a process occurs which is called refreshing which is already explained to you so you have learned three new terms every row in the computer screen is known as scan line the movement of the electron beam from the end of a scan line to the beginning of next scan line is called horizontal ray tracing and the movement of electron beam from the end of last scan line to the beginning of first scan line is called vertical ray tracing this is how electron beam moves through a raster scan system it is very important okay now there is a term called interlacing let us learn what is interlacing interlacing means it has two phases in the first phase electron beam scans all odd numbered scan lines what is meant by scanning all odd numbered scan line which means electron beam first moves through row 1 from the end of row 1 it moves to the beginning of row 3 from the end of row 3 it moves to the beginning of row 5 similarly every odd numbered scan line will be scanned by the electron beam in the first phase once the first phase is completed and the electron beam reaches the last odd numbered scan line then it will have a vertical retrace to the beginning of first even numbered scan line that is 2 what did i say after completing all the odd numbered scan lines from the end of last odd numbered scan line the electron beam takes a vertical ray tracing to the beginning of first even numbered scan line now the second phase begins in second phase the electron beam scans all even numbered scan lines that means first the second scan line is scanned by the electron beam and from the end of second scan line electron beam moves to the beginning of fourth scan line and from the end of fourth scan line electron beam moves to the beginning of sixth scan line similarly every even numbered scan line will be scanned by the electron beam so in the first phase all odd numbered scan lines are scanned and in the second phase all even numbered scan lines are scanned okay but this method of interlacing is not an appropriate method so the traditional method is followed where uh, the um, after uh, completing uh, the scanning of the first scan line the beam moves to the next scan line which was explained in the first half okay now this is all about scan line horizontal ray tracing vertical ray tracing interlacing concepts returning back to our raster scan system main topic 
as i already told you uh, screen is there computer program is there and the program is digitized uh, into picture definition by display processor uh, and the information digital information is stored in the temporary memory called frame buffer now let us see how the information from the frame buffer can be used to draw the picture on the screen as i said the electron beam moves through each pixel of this uh, screen now when the electron beam starts scanning and it reaches the first pixel it starts scanning and reaches the first pixel now it checks the corresponding information stored in the frame buffer and it finds that a zero is stored in the frame buffer this indicates that the first pixel on the screen is not to be highlighted it is not to be highlighted and then the beam moves to the next pixel in the same row again checks the frame buffer second pixel is also zero and this is an indication that second pixel on the same row is also is not to be highlighted in this way the electron beam scans each pixel of the row after checking the value stored in the frame buffer if the uh, if it is found that a zero is stored in the uh, um, cell of frame buffer then it indicates that that particular pixel is not to be highlighted but if a one is stored in the frame buffer it indicates that that particular pixel is to be highlighted so the way the electron beam moves through each pixel is already explained to you by the method of horizontal ray tracing and vertical ray tracing so so it reads each pixel intensity value from the frame buffer depending on whether a zero or one is stored in the frame buffer corresponding pixel in the screen will be highlighted or not simple technique it is uh, as we as i said if a zero is stored in the frame buffer it indicates that particular pixel has not to be highlighted if a one is stored in the uh, frame buffer's pixel then corresponding pixel in the screen is to be highlighted let us see which all pixels are to be highlighted uh, in the second scan line third pixel is to be highlighted that means this pixel is to be highlighted now in the uh, third scan line second and fourth pixel are to be highlighted that means in the third scan line second pixel and fourth pixel are to be highlighted so in this way after reading each bit value from the frame buffer the electron beam moves through all the pixels in the screen and depending on whether a zero is stored in the frame buffer or a one is stored in the frame buffer corresponding pixels will either be highlighted if a one is stored and we, uh, the pixel will not be highlighted if a zero is stored in this way the random scan display sorry the raster scan display scans through all the pixels of the computer screen and finally the screen draws the picture like this you will be able to find the triangle drawn on the screen in this pattern see this is how our triangle will appear once the picture is drawn on the screen clear now what do you see here it is not a perfect triangle clear it has a staircase like appearance it is not a perfect triangle it is a staircase like appearance so we, whatever picture is drawn on the screen using raster scan method you will have a staircase appearance and this staircase appearance is also known as aliasing or jagged appearance all these three are same i can either say pictures drawn on the raster scan system have staircase appearance or i can say it has a jagged appearance or i can say it has aliasing all these three are same clear now let us analyze the advantages and disadvantages of this method raster scan system has refresh time as constant why is this so irrespective of the picture complexity whatever picture you are drawing on the screen whether it is a simple picture or a complex picture refresh time is always constant it is an advantage of 
uh, raster scan system. Second advantage is that the screen will not have any flickering since the refreshing is done frequently. Third advantage is that it is very easy to do any kind of modification on the picture because to do any kind of modification it is very easy to make changes in the frame buffer. Now the disadvantage of raster scan system is that you will see a staircase appearance on the screen while drawing pictures. This staircase appearance occurs only due to the pixel by pixel plotting since in raster scan system we plot pixel by pixel staircase appearance occurs. Next drawback is that due to this staircase appearance the picture will have a low quality. The clarity of the picture will be less hence we will have a low quality picture. And the third disadvantage is that frame buffer needs extra memory. Why? Since the computer screen is divided into a number of rows and columns, the number of cells on the computer screen will be equal to number of cells in the frame buffer. That means for every pixel on the computer screen, we will be having an equivalent pixel in the frame buffer. So we have to uh, arrange an extra memory to store picture definition so it requires lots of memory that is the drawback of raster scan system now come to the next type of system which is called random scan system random scan system can be explained with the help of this figure it is quite easy this is our CRT monitor and this is our electron gun. Suppose I wish to draw a triangle. To draw a triangle, the electron gun just focuses only on those portions of the screen where a picture is to be drawn. What did I say? Electron beam focuses on only those portions of the screen where a picture is to be drawn. Whereas in raster scan system, electron beam passed through all the pixels of the screen even if we needed to plot the pixel or no. Whether or not we are plotting the pixel, it is not a matter. Raster scan system moves through all the pixels of the screen irrespective of whether we are plotting the pixel or not. But in random scan system, electron beam moves only through those portions where a picture is to be drawn. Let us see how a triangle can be drawn using random scan system. Now this electron beam first focuses on a particular point. Now it is going to draw one side of the triangle. Let us see how it is going to draw it. The electron beam starts from this point and draws a straight line that is one side of the triangle which is complete now. To draw the second side of the triangle it starts from this point and moves upward and draws the second side of the triangle. Now to complete the third side the electron beam again moves from this position to this and finally it finishes the triangle. So in three easy steps random scan system draws a complete triangle. Clear? So one uh, important feature you have to note is that in random scan systems we are not plotting pixel by pixel. Instead every picture in the random scan system will be drawn using line by line. Every picture will be drawn on the screen using line by line. Whereas raster scan system draws pictures pixel by pixel here we are drawing pixel pictures line by line so when comparing random and raster scan systems raster, random scan systems do not have staircase appearance clear since pixel by pixel plotting is not there it will not have any staircase appearance second advantage is that it draws the pictures line by line and because of this since there is no staircase appearance the clarity of the picture is very high and hence the quality also will be high disadvantage is that sometimes flickering may occur which is not a good sign of display and the second drawback is that when you are trying to draw complex pictures 
refreshing time will be very high so these are the disadvantages of random scan display hope the two concepts raster and random scan system are clear to you thank you